we were going through some things in our life. Um, I remember having a friend tell me like, um, man, like, why don't you talk about the real? Like, why are you like being positive? Like, why are you posting like positive things? And why are you like faking it? And I'm like, well, should I like just sit and be a victim? What is going on YouTube family? I'm here. Oh, my battery's gonna die, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm here with another video. If you're new here, like and subscribe. We are the organic living, organically living channel, but organic fam. Uh, pushing out a lot of positive content, man. Anybody who's trying to, you know, level up consciously, uh, spiritually, this is a better human being. Tap in, man. We're gonna be doing vlogs, trips. I'm gonna do sit, a lot of sit down talks like this. Uh, my co-host is over there. If you watch any of the other videos, my co-host, my son, Rise, he's around and he'll be coming in a video soon, probably in, uh, screaming a little bit. But I wanted to do this video because me and my wife were talking this morning and like lately on social media, on, on like Instagram, YouTube, I see a lot of like people or influencers or whoever it is, it's people always speaking about like uh, toxic positivity and like, Maybe my, my perspective on it is different, but to me, I don't understand it in a sense because it's like, how can you turn something like positivity into something toxic? <laughs> those are two, let me turn the TV down. Those are two opposite si op those are two opposite sides of the spectrum. Like, if I'm being positive, I don't care if I'm being overbearing positive that's not toxic you know like that's what I'm taking from it the word I mean if you break down the word that's what it means you know so I say all that to say is like man people in today's day and age we we we're like we we could put out content so fast like Instagram you know Twitter whatever it is people use nowadays YouTube like we can put out content so fast and it's so accessible because our phones so like we're getting all this information from people and we really don't even have a stance on anything like a lot of people are like they're just kind of taking other people's beliefs or other people's words and being like, oh yeah, that's what I believe. And it's okay to do that because you know you might align with some of those perspectives of what people say, but at the end of the day, we need to tap into ourselves and, and listen to our own mind, listen to our own soul, listen to our own thoughts, you know, and, and have our own perspective because I just don't understand, like, the thing is, if, if from, for me, I'm like, I can be what you, if, if, if that's the case, I can be toxic, a toxic positive person because I've lived in a negative cycle. I've been negative and like, no one ever, I, I noticed like when you're living negative and you're doing negative things, no one ever really like shames that. Like it's like, it's like we're living in a world today where like negativity is like, people love negativity. People love when negative things are going on with you. Like if I made a post and said something negative happened in my life, or a video, people will come and click it and watch it because people love, like, we're, we're in a time where it's like, that's what's being fed to us and that's what we're interested in, you know? So like, but what I was saying, what I was trying to say is, you create your own reality. So if you're staying negative and like being negative, like say if something negative is going on with you, if you're just being like, oh yeah, something negative going on to me, going on with me, so I'm gonna stay in this negative cycle, I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna stay angry, I'm gonna stay like playing the victim mentality. Nine times out of 10, from my experiences, it, the reality doesn't change. You stay in that cycle over and over and it repeats itself. But if you're like, oh shit, I'm going through something, this is bad for me, but you know what? It's gonna get better. I'm gonna stay positive. I'm gonna like say my affirmations, I'm gonna pray, I'm gonna stay on the frequency, keep my vibe high, like I'm not gonna let that like define who I am as a person. So that's all I'm trying to say. Like, okay, like for example, when we, hey, no, come over here. No, Hi. come here. We were going through some things in our life. Um, I remember having a, a friend tell me like, um, man, like why don't you talk about the real? Like, why are you like being positive? Like, why are you posting like positive things? And why are you like faking it? And I'm like, well, should I like just sit and be a victim all day? like be a victim of my circumstance and bring everybody else down, like talking about what I'm going through. Like, yes, it's okay to talk to it about what you're going through with some people, but anybody who comes to you with a problem all the time, a problem, 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 and they're not having a solution, or you give them a solution and they still go back to the problem, they're not trying to change it. That's what I mean about being stuck in that toxic negative cycle. Like, so yes, people, listen to your own mind. Even from this video, take your perspective on it, but we need 
to stay positive in whatever you're going through. Think some things are going to be harder to stay positive in, but you are in control of your own reality. You are the master of your own fate. You write your own story. So yes, things will go bad. That's just how life is. I don't know why. I hate it too sometimes, but I know from my own personal experience, the times when things were going bad, when I kept stay positive and stay focused on the light and stayed on that positive spectrum and kept my vibe high, things got better. It might not be overnight, you know, but it will progressively get better. And at the end of the day, where you are is not where you're gonna be. Like right now you can be going two years ago, neither of us had a job in this household. We were like there was a time where we would go to uh, uh, what's the store? Albertsons and have to do give coins. Give coins to be able to eat. Or we would be like, okay, we're gonna do Uber Eats for dinner tonight. Like it was at that point, you know, like we lost our jobs, everything was on lockdown, the world was going, you know how it was. You know, my mind wasn't really feeling that good, you know, but we got through it. We stayed positive. Now, by the grace of God, by us keeping that. Sorry, my laptop, uh, my camera cut off. But what I was saying um, is, yeah, we went through this, these times, you know, and like we could have stayed in that. We went through these times where we were taking coins and doing Uber Eats just to eat for that day, just to eat meals for that day. You like, you get what I'm saying? Like, we had nothing, you know what I'm saying? We were down to like our last. Um, we had a baby on the way, you know, like we could have stayed in that negative cycle, but by the grace of God, like I was saying, is we always knew like we had hope like you gotta always have hope that is the if you don't have hope and you're not positive like have a positive outlook on your future you're not gonna people come on you gotta have hope hope faith god even if you some people don't believe in god whatever they're whatever it is you gotta have hope you gotta have faith you gotta stay positive regardless of what you're going to don't let these people trick you that the people that have these platforms trick you into saying, oh, toxic positivity. No, that's bullshit. That's BS. I'm sorry. That's be sorry, my son. That's BS. Like, no. Be positive. Be positive until it make it ooze out of you till that's all you're attracting. And I noticed with us, we're like those type of people. We're positive. And like, when I say being positive, like, overly positive, we are all human. You are going to have bad days. You're going to wake up where your days where you don't feel like yourself or you feel like blue for some reason, like you have a cloud over you. That's going to happen. But that doesn't mean you go about the day bringing everybody else down or being negative and just being a pity party on yourself. Like, no, to get out of that, we have to stay positive. We got to have something to look forward to. We got to remember, first of all, we are alive. <laughs> That's the first thing you should be positive. Like, you should be grateful, show gratitude for when you first wake up, you're here. You have an opportunity. Somebody didn't wake up today. You know, like, I'm not telling you to like, oh, don't listen to your friend's problems. Don't pay attention to your own personal problems. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying no. You should be positive because you are what you attract. Like, your your like attracts like, love attracts love. Like, that's just how it is. That's the law of nature. That's, that is the law, you know? Like, you cannot believe it or not, whatever, you can be whatever you wanna do, do whatever you wanna do at the end of the day. I probably used to be like that where I didn't believe in stuff like that, but I'm telling you there will come a time in your life where you have nothing but hope to hold on to. <laughs> you have to stay positive. You're not going to hold on to negative hope. You're not going to hold on to like, oh, well, it's not going to get better. I'm going to just keep on being like this. Like, I'm not trying to preach because I hate, I hate that. Like, hey, 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 hold on. I'm not trying to like, sorry, my son was messing with the window, but I'm not, I'm not trying to say like, you know, just hold on. Like, like I forgot what I was saying. But anyways, all I'm saying is guys, don't let these people trick you into like thinking you're doing something wrong for being a positive person. Please don't. That is completely okay. There's nothing wrong with being overly positive. I'd rather be around somebody who's too positive all the time and always makes you look at the positive bright side than some negative Debbie Downer person so man I love you guys this is just a rant I had to get off my head I'm gonna do rants like these we're gonna call this the organic uh, tea talk, organic um, TED talk you know because it's straight off the dome and it's just real man like I feel like we need more people to like stop getting in like we need to stop getting influenced because I've been a victim of it too like I've been in negative cycle and I'm, I'm speaking from a place of experience I've been I lived a negative lifestyle you know what I'm saying and like I've changed for the better. Like a lot of my old friends and stuff, I don't, I can't even relate to them anymore. You know, like 
because the things I was doing was that wasn't aligned with what I am now, you know. So it like I have no, there's nothing that you know connects us anymore. But uh, anyways, love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Uh, leave me some comments, man. I hope you guys are staying positive.